I'm going to be doing the Born This Way tag. I've been requested a lot to do this, so let's get started. If you're not too familiar what the Born This Way tag is, I'm gonna link what it exactly is in the description box down below. You can check it out to find more. But basically, it's just um, turning your negative labels that you've been called in the past into positive ones. The first label I've definitely been called a lot is um, dumb or dumb and stupid. Definitely, I've been called dumb or and or stupid a lot. A lot of it has to do with appearance. Um, I'm not afraid to um, be bubbly, be happy, be joyful, laugh at stupid things. A lot of people see the blonde hair and automatically determine that I'm stupid from that. Basically, people just determine me as dumb and stupid by my appearance. When in actuality, I'm actually very intelligent. People don't really, can't really see that on a YouTube screen, you know, if I'm just showing makeup and showing you how to put on makeup. There is no insight into my intelligence or to see how well I communicate academically. Every single year in my high school year, I was on the honor roll every single year. I was a tutor also in high school for Spanish and math, any type of math, if you had anything, algebra, math A, B, C, 30, um, calculus, whatever it was, you came to me and I helped you out for free. I had numerous recommendations from my elementary and high school teachers for university. I had written letters to university um, recommending me to the university. I also had scholarships to my university. Not only am I academic smart, I'm also very street smart. I know general knowledge at the top of my head. I, you know, I'm very well balanced all around. And also, not even that, um, beauty smart as well. So people on the exterior just see dumb and stupid. When when you look deeper into me, you really do see that I'm intelligent. Also, another one that when I show a lot of you're gonna be like, that's not a bad label at all. However, if you any label, it doesn't have to be bad or good. If you're continuously uh, ridiculed about something over and over again, it can turn into a bad label. Like if you're consistently being bullied about it, and all through my life since I was very young, have been called shorty, short, midget. Everything like that. And you know, like, I'm fine with my height. I'm very fine with my height. I call myself short. However, I call myself short and my friends call me short in a way that's not hurtful. Um, throughout my, especially elementary years, everyone would call me shorty and making fun of me. Um, are you a certified midget? Um, can you even grow past five feet? I'm 4'9", by the way. Um, and through my elementary school, elementary years, I was like 4'7", and shorter. So, um... I got bullied a lot about being short, and it's something like, you know, I can't even, uh, I can't help being short, I can't exactly grow, and I would come home every single day telling my mom, when am I going to grow, and she would say, you know, I'm short too, and most of your family, you just got to embrace it. I have definitely embraced my shortness, and taken all that ridicule, and turned it into, I'm not short, I'm fun size, because I am fun size. So it's the terminology how people use it like if somebody calls me oh you're so short you're so cute short that's fine but if somebody like people in my past would bully me all the time then it became a negative label and I'm turning it into a positive label basically this next label it has to do with YouTube I base pretty well haven't even been called this in my everyday life uh, just YouTube so thanks YouTube and that is slut or skank, or whore, ho, whatever you want to interpret with this, but this is my YouTube, what people when they're mad at me, YouTube, or don't like me, they'll think this. Um, they don't like the fact that I do have big boobs, and you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to sh uh, cover up my cleavage when I'm trying to wear three shirts at one time, and people still tell me that I'm a slut for wearing cleavage out. In slut, I am definitely not a slut. Um, I'm very faithful to my boyfriend. I've had the same boyfriend for five years, more than five years now. I love him very much. I never have cheated on him in my life. I'm very conservative. Um, yes, I do show cleavage, but it's not what you wear that makes you a slut, it's what you do and what your actions are that make you a slut. I don't go around giving people boom boom booms and flip de doos every single day. I'm very, um, to myself, I don't flirt with other guys or girls. I'm just very happy, fun, bubbly, um, I'm a very fun, lighthearted person, so people just determine that as being a slut. And actually, in actuality, I'm actually just very confident. I am. I'm very confident. If I love that dress that's really short and it's shown a little bit of cleavage, I will rock it because I'm confident. Not that I'm a slut. I'm very confident in what I'm wearing. I don't do anything slutty. Just like me, I don't do anything slutty at all. That's kind of, it's really funny to me because 
you know, I'm the type of person who if a guy comes up to me and was giving me his number, I'll be like, no bro, like, go to Joe for that bro. It's not just me on YouTube. I've seen many different beauty gurus on YouTube be called this words, among others, whore, whatever you want to label with this, um, when in actuality they are just confident or they're just trying to wear, you know, if they want to wear a sheer blouse with a little thing under it, they can do it. That doesn't make them a slut. They're not giving some guy... I'm not even going to name gross things, but, you know, I'm in a video showing lip gloss. I'm not bending over backwards for some dude in the back. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's slutty to do that, and I'm just showing lip gloss. And the last label that I have been ridiculed for my whole entire life about is Denty, Indian, and Ugly. These all have the same uh, characteristic. That's why I put them all in the same. So they're all being the same, denty, Indian, and ugly. I've also got questions of this on YouTube. A lot of you are like seriously asking, like, what is that? What is that dent in your face? And I, ever since I started wearing makeup, it's kind of been less noticeable because people now focus on my eyes and not the middle of my forehead. In the middle of my forehead, you see right here that I have a dent, what people call, and I've been ridiculed about that my whole entire life. People would call me denty. They would say, oh look, here comes Denty. Um, are you gonna get that dent fix in your head? How'd you get that dent? Did somebody like shove a bat right in your face? Did you get dropped on your head as a child? Indian, um, I liked this guy in like grade six. I was like, I love him, I like him, right? And I just thought he was the cutest guy ever. And then he told me, sorry, I don't date Indians. And I was like, what? I'm like the whitest person ever. And he said, no, because you forgot your jewel. I've heard that so many times, you forgot your jewel, where's your jewel? My brother used to say that to me all the time until I was like, please stop. Like, jewel, you know how in the Indian culture, some ladies and men wear the jewel right in the middle? I basically have the platform or the foundation for that jewel, so I've been picked on it a lot. And I've also been called ugly because of it. You know, you're so ugly with that thing in your middle of your face, like, what are you doing? That's so ugly. And in actuality, I'm actually real and unique. Um, this dent is actually a scar. When I was um, eight or nine years old, I had chicken pox, just like everyone else in my class did. And I got the chicken pox, but I got them so bad. Like, they were in my mouth. They were under my armpits. Like, I had them everywhere, chicken pox. And my mom told me, do not scratch them because you'll, like, because they're so itchy. Um, I don't see chicken pox anymore. It was like just when I was a kid. Maybe it was some epidemic, but I don't even see chicken pox anymore. Anyways, my mom told me, do not scratch them because you'll get scars. And I had one, obviously, right in the middle of my forehead. That was the worst. It was the biggest. It was the itchiest. And I was itching that thing. And it turned into a scar. So there we go. I took a good gander at it. And now I have to live with that right in the middle of my face for the rest of my life. And that just makes me real because I don't cover it up with makeup. I don't mind if people look at it, go for it. I don't wear foundation. I don't try to cover it up in any way. So that makes me real and also unique because I don't think many other people have one right smack dab in the middle of their forehead. Actually, I met one person who did and I was like, yeah, girl. She was like, what are you doing? And I think that people, instead of just looking at people on the outside or only hearing them talk and making assumptions about them, should actually realize that people are real and unique, they're fun size, they're confident, and they're very intelligent, among other positive labels. So people should really start not just judging people and bullying people, especially on the internet, and really looking deeper into the person because I am none of these labels that people have called me in the past or on the internet and I'm so much more than that and I just, I know that I'm not the only one obviously, I mean every single person gets bullied or labeled or name called and I just want everybody to try at least to step up from that, stop being so childish and negative and start calling people positive labels. I'll talk to you guys later, thank you guys for watching and for requesting this, bye guys!